You're so close to your happiness breakthrough. But your number one problem is your circle. The people that you're dealing with on a daily basis, those that are closest to you, are tearing you down. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. And right now you have an opportunity for a bright future. But these people that you keep allowing into your life are dimming your light. So this is your friendly reminder of three. I'm only going to talk about three today. People you need to avoid. You need to avoid these people like the plague. You need to avoid these people like the Rona. You got these little coronaviruses running around in your life. And they're infecting you with all this ignorant, with all this negative thought processes. And the number one culprit, negative people. The glass is always half empty. Doomers and gloomers. They're negative, so they want you to be negative. They're miserable, so they want you to be miserable. They're unhappy, so they want you to be unhappy. You wake up on the right side of the bed every day, excited, happy, ready to go conquer the world. Then your phone rings. It's your homeboy. It's your homegirl. Negative Nancy. Dalton Thomas. They pour all that negative energy into you, and next thing you know, you down in the dumps. It's crazy, like the story. Say a guy was standing on the ledge of a building, about to jump to commit suicide. Good Samaritan sees him, goes out on the ledge with him to try to talk him down. So he's like, man, what's going on with you? What's the problem, man? Life is not that bad. So the guy that was getting ready to jump commences to tell this guy all of his problems, all the weights of the world, and for the next 30 minutes, he just poured all this negative energy into this guy. And guess what happened? They both jumped. See, negative energy is super contagious because I promise you, Negative people have a problem for every solution. So you got to avoid them at all cost. And the second type of people to avoid, them takers. Take, 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 take. Ain't got a give bone in their body. And you keep giving. And you keep giving even when you don't have. Takers. They're blood sucking leeches. And the more you give to them, the more they're going to expect from you. And the less you're going to feel good about yourself. See, the self-love in you has to become strong enough that you can say no. And you know my motto, your new favorite word is no. Say it with me. No. No, no, no. Avoid those takers. If you're not strong enough to say no, then you need to remove them from your circle. You need to avoid them. I don't care what the excuse gotta be, but stop letting those takers use you. Because just like that song say, they will use you up. <laughs> so be excited and be proud of the fact that you're a giver, but you have to set limits because takers never do. They gotta go. Finally, number three on our list of people to avoid, haters, because they will smile all up in your face and talk all behind your back. They can't stand to see you winning. They hate when you tell them something happened great, but they're going to tell you that they're happy for you. Oh, that's cool, sis. Oh, that's cool, bro. The moment you hang the phone up, the moment you leave the room, they just fuming on the inside. You should see the look on their face. Just burns them up to know that you're having success. You don't need those type of people in your life. And I've told you this before. You better take your scissors and cut them people off before they take their knife and stab you in the back again. Can't win with bad teammates. So when they hating, you let them know that you are not relating. And if they're not hating on you and they're talking to you and hating on somebody else, you stop them too. Those are the type of people that bring bad energy into your life. And we trying to win. We can't win when we ain't right within and haters are never right in here. They're hurting. So I don't wanna see other people hurting. And since you can't change them, your best move is to avoid them. Your best move is to remove them. 
And when you avoid and remove these three types of people, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. And guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go.